important. Um, you got a lot, you know, a lot of young players. You're not seeing a lot of um, you know, local players back in Papua New Guinea. I think the most uh, out of all the you know the own, uh, nations. And um, you know, Adrian and his um, management staff have done a lot of good things up in Papua New Guinea. And um, you know, you can just see the, how far we've come. I've played for PNG for a couple of years now. And, you know, this this tour and the setup and everything's just been the best it's ever been. And um, Again, if we can, like Adrian said, get more international games going, I mean, you know, get more exposure for our players and just get them used to playing, you know, in this type of, uh, you know, environment, the, you know, in these competitions, um, the game up there is only going to continue to develop and, uh, and hopefully, again, you know, you know, we can come down and still be, you know, a lot more competitive. <coughs> uh, yeah, I think that's fair to say that. Uh, I won't say too much more on that. Uh, John? We might have him a bit further down the track, so... Yeah, strange decisions, but we we expected that, right? So we just had to deal with that, and the boys did really well. Is that an interpretation thing? Like, I mean, or, or were there actual was decisions out there that you didn't understand? Or yeah, I don't know. Like like I said before, I don't really want to comment too much on that. Uh, just really proud of the way the boys performed tonight. You know, I came under a bit of criticism after our game last week, and the boys really. Uh, answered in the best possible way. So, um, as Steve said, you know, we're still a lot of improvement, but um, it was a good step forward. Uh, yeah, it'd, it'd be great to to be able to play those those games against you know, Papua New Guinea and, and go to places like that. But as Steve said, it's um, you know, it is pretty tough. It's it's the NRL and, and obviously the Super League. You know, they're, they're long seasons. Maybe they can think about um, you know, stopping the rounds during the season to have some internationals. But um, you know, a lot of boys play a lot of footy at the moment. It's just, um, it's just a matter of doing it right. You, know, you don't want to overload the players too much because you see your best players playing state of origin and playing test matches and all that sort of stuff. It's just sooner or later it's going to catch up and players will start to burn out.